Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here again for the second part in this mini-series on how I went about digitising this design. Last time you saw me import the artwork. In this particular video I'm going to show you how I digitised the background oval. Just a reminder, I am using the Hatch Embroidery Digitising software, so if you'd like to download a free trial copy or take a look around what features it has, please visit hatchembroidery.com. OK, let's make a start on digitising a standard shape, which is the tool set that I'm going to use to um, create that background oval. First, from the digitising tab, I'll choose circle or oval. I'll set the shape to fill. I'll choose the stipple single run feature. And then I'll change the line spacing a bit so that it's a little more condensed. To start digitising the oval, I make a single click and then drag out the bounding box for the oval or circle. I make another click to set the height and then drag out to set the width. I press enter to confirm my selection. That then applies all of the settings, so the fill and the stipple run, to that shape. I can then resize, and to resize proportionately, I can hold down the shift key, uh, shift key while I click and drag, and that then resizes it proportionately from the center of that design. I then copied and pasted a second oval, resized it, and changed the stitch type to outline, and then left it as a single run but I took off the variable stitch length. After looking at the design, I thought that a tighter stitch run or stipple stitch run might look a bit better. So I made some adjustments and the software updated the design for me. Once I was happy, it was time to move on to the next stage. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.